Hi, I'm Aaron with Ag Diesel Solutions. Uh, we're out here getting ready to do a field install on a 6190R with a 6.8 liter Powertech John Deere engine. This is the first one we've done of this kind. Uh, so something new today, you guys probably haven't seen before. Uh, but this module is going to be a 2684. Uh, you'll see in your installation guide for this module that it fits. Uh, there's going to be two different styles it fits. There's a final tier 4 and a tier 4. Uh, the 6.8 liter you're going to find in your 6Rs and a majority of your 7R series tractors. I want to go over a few things before we do this install. Make sure that the tractor is powered down. You do not want to have it powered up. Oh, we got a little friend with us. But uh, we want to make sure that it's powered down. Uh, we don't want to have any uh, direct electrical contact where you can harm yourself or harm the tractor. Uh, make sure all your connections are tight. Make sure everything's clean. Uh, kept away from any high heat spots, any uh, high wear and tear spots. We don't want to damage the module. We don't want that to affect the performance of the tractor either. Uh, but before we do this, just be sure to check on this specific tractor. We're going to take off some side panels, uh, like this one here. It's 13 millimeter bolts. You can get it on and off. Uh, the other side panel on the other side is the same way. I believe we're going to take it off as well. Uh, that'll give us access to the starter for the power and the ground straps. Uh, so with that being said, we'll show you step-by-step -step installation video, so stay tuned. We've now got the right side panel off on this tractor. Uh, it's not really necessary because with the hood up, you can get to the fuel injector plug and the map sensor, which is right here above this fuel and water separator. You see the one sticking up vertically, one's coming out of the head horizontally. Uh, your horizontal plug is your uh, fuel injection plug, and the one sticking up vertically is your map sensor. Uh, but with this panel, why we did take it off, some people may decide to route uh, your power and ground strap along the side of the engine and behind. Others may decide to go over the valve cover uh, just directly from this connection point. But we just wanted to show the different options that you may have. Uh, so first off, we're going to go ahead and uh, pop the injector plug and the map sensor out and get ready to install our portion of our harness. As you can tell on this harness, the map sensor, like most of John Deere applications, is a three pin connector and your injector plug is an 8 pin. These connectors are commonly seen on your 9 liters as well. I just want to emphasize before we start putting these on uh, to be very careful with these clips. Uh, they are pretty fragile. Uh, we generally find that you sometimes can get them off by pressing down on the tab release but with factory applications such as this as they come down the assembly line they put a large amount of paint on the engine itself so that paint stiffens up that clip so it's hard to release but you can get a flathead screwdriver in there and put it beneath this uh, to release that and pop it out uh, but to begin we got the map sensor and the uh, fuel injection plug removed uh, we're now going to take the male portion of our harness for the fuel injector plug and plug it in to the female portion on the factory harness of the tractor itself. As you can hear that went in, that was a stiff click. It's in, it's secure. So we'll go ahead and take our female portion of our harness and plug into the head itself from where we remove the factory harness from. And once again, we heard that click, so it's secure. We'll now go on to the map sensor portion. It's also essential, uh, as these modules come out of the box, the harness may be intertwined, make sure that nothing's bundled up, make sure everything's straight. That's also going to affect the efficiency or performance of the module, uh, especially during the installation process. But we'll go ahead and do the same process for the map sensor. We will take our male portion of our harness, plug in on the factory harness side into the female. Same will follow with our female portion of our harness going into the factory location on the engine itself. So. 
and you heard it click just like that. Uh, we just finished installing the power and the ground straps on this tractor. Uh, we decided to run it up and behind the AC compressor from the passenger side to the driver's side. As you can see, we ran it across the loom from the wiring harnesses and came down in front of the exhaust manifold and the EGR cooler. And we ran it down by the pump itself, back, back behind the oil filter, and of course we mounted the power to the solenoid on the starter and the ground to the ground strap on the frame. Uh, the nut on the solenoid ended up being a 17 millimeter, while the nut on the ground strap ended up being a 13. Just some things to touch on to make it easier when you go and get your uh, socket and ratchet. Uh, so we're pretty well done with this install. The only thing to do now is just go through and zip tie everything up along the factory looms. Uh, make sure everything's secure and then fire it up and be ready to go.